So the Leo New Moon portal opened yesterday. So we have another two day window. We've got 48 hours to take the right actions to be able to set our intentions for powerful manifestations. But because it's Leo, the energies are a little bit different. So it's very important for us to be aware of the universal energies to know how to best navigate through this time and get the best out of it, especially when it comes to love and relationships and even attracting your soulmate. We're going to get into this in this video, but before we get into it, show real. Hit it. Namaste everyone, Namo Himalaya, this is Sri Akashana here and in this video I'm going to be breaking down for you five things that you need to know when it comes to this Leo new moon. We all know that new moon is good time to set new intentions but at the same time depending on the astrology and numerology and earth's energies how it's actually moving it's very important for us to navigate alongside of it to get the most out of this so that's why i've noted down five things that i'm going to be covering in this video the first thing is the word drama so alert alert there's going to be maybe a little bit of drama and why is that so is because um, this is Leo's den. It's kind of like a dramatic, fresh start. So if we look at it like this, we could either say, mm, let's say, for example, you start a new chapter of your life. You're kind of like getting a fresh new book and everything's smooth and everything's beautiful. It could look like that. Or it could be the case that you were still in your old chapters and your old book and the old happenings were still there. And suddenly what happens is because of the new moon, and Leo's energies, it will just grab that old notebook of yours or that old journal of yours and throw it away, rip it to shreds, and then show you the new. What does that mean? There may be some challenges that you may face through this new moon, right? Let me know if there has been already, right? Or there may be some big arguments that you didn't expect to happen, it just suddenly happens. It could be some movements in your job, in your career, where suddenly, I don't know, you get fired or, you, or, or something else happens that is a little bit dramatic, right? Or it could be inside your, inside your relationships as well. It could just be this thing that was unexpected and it just happens, right? Be rest assured that when that happens, it's because once upon a time, you may have set an intention out there to say, I didn't want this job. Or you may have set this, an intention out there before, oh, I'm not sure this relationship is right for me. Then suddenly it gets taken away from you and you think, why is this happening to me? But it's not. Universe is always responding to you, even at times when it doesn't seem like it. Now, I know sometimes when things get taken away or some chaos starts happening or some drama starts happening, it gets a bit disheartening and sometimes we feel a few emotions here and there. But it's very important to keep in mind our practices for our breath work, it's very important to keep in practices to keep the mind calm. Don't be reactive because during new moon time is the worst time to be reactive because everything you think about or your energies are amplified and they are magnified and they are manifested. So stay at peace, stay at calm, be at peace with yourself and have trust and faith with the universe. Okay. The next thing is to do with dominating our love lives. Right? And the reason behind that is because Venus is also in retrograde. And when Venus is in retrograde, it talks a lot about our um, love and our uh, romance, our romantic life. And so it could be a case that in the past uh, couple of days or in the, this five-day window, we've had three days already, two days left. So it could be the case that you're getting some signals from people. Uh, some people asking you out on a date, some people maybe some more flirtatious type of messages that are going on from maybe even people you least expect it from. It's probably happening because um, when Venus is in retrograde, this is dominating our love lives. Okay, so let me know inside the comments if you guys can relate to any of what I've said already and it's been happening already, then let us know inside the comments and it will also help those who are new to astrology, new to numerology to feel like they're not alone, right, in this, in this journey. The, the third thing is the dark new moon, right? This is associated with 
um, this new moon now is a bit of a dark new moon. Now, what does it mean? It means it actually will stimulate and trigger certain things which may seem like it's negativity. But in fact, that negativity is to resolve specifically relationship issues. So I don't know if you guys have had it already, where whether it's even just relationship, it doesn't have to be romantic relationship, it could be relationship with your family members, uh, with your friends, it could be in romance. There has been certain conversations that you've been putting off for a long time that have just been appearing, right? It just came out of the blue. And it's very important for us to start addressing those issues, although it's not easy, although it may cause some triggers, but it's very important for us at this time to attend to those um, issues. Because when we start attending to those issues, this is a very good time to resolve them once and for all. Get it nice and cleared for a new chapter of your life to start happening and new manifestations to start coming in, right? Don't shove things under the carpet, right? Don't suppress things that are there for a long time. Now is the time to speak about and have those hard conversations that you have been putting off for a long time. Then moving on to point number four, it's time to commit. Why is, uh, why is it time to commit? Well, first of all, we need to understand that if we remember on the energy forecast that I made earlier in the month, I was talking about the 15th and how Juno asteroid is the asteroid of commitment. And that's when that Juno asteroid actually entered into Leo. So when we understand that, what does it mean? It means that you're going to feel a lot more committed than usual. You'll have more uh, confidence, right? You feel like that thing that uh, you've been shying off committing to, whether it be in a relationship or whether it even be in a job, right? Whether it be committing fully into a project, you'll feel suddenly you have that um, energy of commitment, like you're ready for it. You feel fired up. And if you feel fired up already, or you've been getting those signs, this is a big, the biggest sign for you to say, go full steam ahead, right? Two feet on the accelerator, Go for it. It's for you. Universe has your back and universe is working with you in full commitment right now. And what you commit to during this new moon will amplify. Everything will amplify. It will go 10 times as big, 100, 100 times as big, 1,000 times as big, right? You will get a quantum shift, a quantum leap in everything that you do as long as you fully commit. So the words for everybody to stick on their walls and their post-it notes is go all in, especially in the next 48 hours, okay? The final thing that you need to pay close attention to during this time, the fifth thing is to set it and forget it. And I know I always speak about this and even wrote a book on, on this, but we need to understand that um, this time right now, when we set our intentions, we don't want to... Uh, be hanging on to it too much. And the reason why is because of the, how the energies are working and how fast the energies are during this August period with our manifestations. When things happen fast, there could be some chaos and some challenges that show up before you get the fruits. And when that happens, what does that mean? It means if we are hanging on to, why is it not happening yet? Why is it not happening yet? Why is it not happening yet? If we're hanging on to those goals and those dreams and we keep thinking, why is it not happening yet? Right? We've got this attachment to the outcome and it creates a big problem because it's highly unlikely that it is going to happen instantly for you. Because of the quantum shift, because of the quantum leap, I always say manifestations happen in sequences. So when you open up one portal of opportunity and you step through that door, go all in, it's not likely that it's going to happen immediately. Why? Because it's going to show you many doors. This is my point in this month of August. To get your, to your manifestation, it's probably going to show you many doors. Now you're thinking, well, that's going to take a long time. No, it's going to actually speed things up. But you've got to have that courage. You've got to have that trust and faith. Once you set those intentions and once you start actioning it, to forget about the outcome. Stop thinking and stop being attached to that outcome. Just go full steam ahead. Keep running, keep running, keep running. You can't see the destination, but keep running anyway and have complete trust and faith that these energies will carry you to your manifestations. I would love it if you guys save this video, right, for future reference. When you navigate through the whole of August and you see 
all your fruits start blossoming in this month of August and September, I'd like you guys to come back to this video and share your success story, right? I would like to pin those success stories so that other people can see that by using astrology, using numerology, and at the same time using our intelligence and our manifestation skills, we are able to best navigate through these times and get what we want in life and achieve your highest, highest, highest potential. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Also, comment below. Let us know where you guys have tuned in from. That's always nice to know. And finally, if you're new to the channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's a little bell sign, by the way, because this year we're dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, we're signing out. Namaste. Namo Himalaya.